Hello everyone, in the last video we looked at the if statements which is over here. Now the if statements only execute the uh, code written here if the condition is true. However, what if you want some other code to uh, execute if the condition was false? Now this is when we use the if else statement. Say for example we write a variable x equals uh, 10 and y equals 15 and we write a condition if x is bigger than y let's give let's execute the code uh, document dot write brackets brackets and make sure you have the semicolon uh, the variable x is bigger than y now, however, if x isn't bigger than y, we want to write another code saying that the variable y is bigger than x. So this is when we use the else statement. So after the curly brackets, which wraps the execute the code over here, we write else, and then we write another curly brackets, and inside here we write another code that will be executed if this condition was false so in this case we write document dot write the variable x is not bigger than y okay so let's save our work and refresh the variable x is not bigger than y that is because x equals 10 and y equals 15. Now let's change this x value to 20 and see what happens. Now because both my sentences are similar, you might have missed that slight change, but then the not is gone because now the variable x is bigger than y. So this is the if else statements. You have a condition, you have uh, a code that will be executed if the condition is true and then you have another code that will be executed if the condition is false so that was a quick video talking about the if else statements in my next video we will be looking at multiple if statements so if statements inside an if statements with I might use an else if else statement as well so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.